Now, our last quarterfinal will determine who they will play. Piran, Kron. Piran, probably the favorite in this one. They were certainly a uh, team of the day from pool play. They come in undefeated. They put a whooping on Virbus by five. They also spanked up on old Montreal to come in here unbeaten. Gasper uh, Ovnik, Adin Kavgic, Simon Fitzgar, and uh, Anze Shrebo. Looking for their first Masters win since 2017. They come in with the experience that uh, I think almost hands, hands down the best passing team here in Saskatoon, although Amsterdam is in competition. Arguably the best passing team in all the 3x3. They lace them up against uh, another Slovenian squad. Kron with the old wily veteran Minsud Yulevitz leading the way. That game between uh, Piran and Virbus was the TSO fastest game of day one. They won that game uh, 21 to 16 and seven minutes and 16 seconds. They, Piran also had the second fastest game of the day against Old Montreal. Uh, Simon Finsgaard had a lot to do with that. As the Sphinx comes in second on the team in score behind uh, Gaspar Ovnik. There's Mitsu Yulevich, the leading scorer for, for Team Kron. He comes in with 11 points. And uh, his team going to need to find some offense. They only average 13 points per game in, in pool play. Piran reached 21 points in each of their games. So we'll see if Piran can make quick work of Kron and keep this uh, TSO fastest game of the day theme going on for themselves. We shall see. And Sue Yulevich won a matter of fact, hey, this is a, this is a significant matchup because you've got the three uh, oldest, not players in terms of uh, age, but in terms of seniority on the 3x3 World Tour in this game. Mensu Yulevich, uh, Adin Kadkic, and Simon Finsgar. Three players that have been uh, in all three editions of, uh, of the World Tour. So they've been here since 2012. And they watched the game from grow from, you know, its very inception onto the Olympic bid. As a look back at the, uh, the first score of the game, big number six getting up to throw it down, Igor. But uh, very cool to see that come full circle for these guys. Our three most senior 3x3 players. There's one of them, Kavga. Has it uh, tipped away, and Nadine couldn't track it down. Here's the Sphinx to Buko, thing of beauty. They find ways to get easy buckets, solid screens, good movement off of them. As Piran leads it 2-1. In terms of their uh, they head-to-heads, Kron with a couple of wins at the 2018 and 19. They won in the, at the Portier semifinal, Kron did. Lost uh, in Penang last year, though, in the pools phase, who was able to, uh, able to beat them in the semifinal. Here's Yulevitz. Oh, behind the back, Boris Jerson gets it back to Minsu, Minsu, missed three in a row. Stays 2-1. Gappy, up fake, swings it. The Sphinx, new sir. Avnik, your top scorer from, uh, from pool play. 17 big ones leading the way. Eight twenty one. On the game clock in this one again, our last quarterfinal with San Francisco Three Ball USA awaiting. Uh, 
Piran is arguing that arguing is the yes, their ball. That's what that's what Opnik is saying. And now Kron is like, wait, wait a minute. We thought it was all right. No, it's it's a uh, Piran ball. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Off of black. So here's the teacher. Doesn't give him a lesson on that possession. Up fake. There's Borish giving it up to get it back. Borish on the pull up. Half some. So Jershin is able to knock that thing down. Even things up at two apiece. Not only two points apiece, but two fouls apiece. It's a draw across the board. Buko, Kavga, he pulls the trigger. Two-piece, tasty. 4-2. There's eight years of tour experience. And one matchup. Yulovic is out. Nice up fake. And oh, near connection. But uh, Vojacic and Trotnik couldn't make it happen. Foul call. Now five on uh, Kron, three on Piran in a 4-2 game. Shrebo taking his time. He's got six seconds left in his shot clock. Gappy has his shot deflected. It's great length. That's why Alexander Vujicic and uh, Igor Trotnik have been able to really uh, disrupt a couple of shot attempts here in the early goings. Another one. Trey Bow forced to put that one up late in the shot clock. Here's Bordish. And he is able to get that uh, little mid ranger to go down. Mitsu working on Gappy. Gives it up. Jersey. Mitsu, he loves that one legged fadeaway. He's uh, Dirk Nowitzki in it. Four four game. Six forty left in this one. Dean, uh, Dean Cavendish was up off the bench, I believe. He was yelling, uh, "Challenge! Shot clock challenge!" It felt like that last bucket from Kron should be uh, should be wiped away. I think they might have a case there. I think they might have a case. Officiate, our uh, officiating crew will get a look at it and make uh, make the final determination on that. DJ Anchor still keeping them hits coming. Another throwback. One, two, three, and to the four. I gotta, I, you know, I gotta get a Snoop Dogg impression. I gotta work on it. I, I'm not brave enough to try it live right now because it could be bad. But I'm going to get in the mirror, and I'm going to come back next Masters with a Snoop Dogg impersonation. <laughs> look out for that. Uh, look out for the outcome in terms of this uh, shot clock challenge. And see uh, if a point needs to be wiped away. But right now, uh, we, we got it 4-4. Like that and like. Yeah, you see, you can see uh, Kavga up, challenging there. And as we get back to it, it was uh, correct. They were they were right. Kron has a point wiped away. So it's four to three. 
credit uh, the Dean Cavgitz and company staying on top of that. Make sure the refs got to look at that. Here's Borish. Trying to, trying to do something with it. That's not the best spacing for crime. Oh, put him in the blender, but couldn't finish it. Wojcic set up on the right wing this time. He pulls the trigger on Kavka, fires a blank. Stays a one-point game, six and a half to play. So look back at some of the highlights in this one. As I mentioned, these teams uh, are familiar with each other. Three meetings all together. And uh, a close game. They know each other's strengths. Taking, taking those strengths away, though, is easier said than done. Piran with the 2 1 head to head lead. Trey Bolt using that big body. Says, Excuse me, Borish. Moved him out the way. Took the score. Two point advantage for Piran. Piran with two wins in World Tour history. One in Lausanne in 2014. Nice pass. Also one in Chengdu, 2017. I was there for that second Masters win. And there's Gappy cruising to the cup. Yulevitz, oh, change of direction. Going right at Kavga. And then a foul afterwards. So even though they've been playing against each other for eight years, <laughs> things still get physical and testy between the two. Some, and some mutual respect. But both want to continue to keep their hopes alive for $30,000. It's a lot of dollars at stake this year on the tour. As uh, Obnik, he misses on the uh, technical free throw. Now the teacher, a little hezzy, a little stop and go. He's going to the post office. And he forgot his postage stamp. Off the loose ball. Oh, baseline out of bounds. Black will take over. Quick move to the left. Oh, cookies. Adin with the thievery. Then the delivery to Buko. Borish. Trying to set the table. Oh, splash. Wetter than swim lessons. Trotnik showing off that range. And Trotnik. Running out, good contest. 5.02 remaining. And Piran with a one point advantage. So Piran, so far in 2019, they finished fourth at the Doha Masters. They had a second place finish at the Limassol Challenger and they won the, the uh, Portier Challenger. But they have not won on the tour. Yet, also qualified for Montreal, Prague, and Lausanne. They want to get it done right now, though. Rank number five, seated number three is Piran here in Saskatoon. Nice pass. I told you they pass it like Snoop's crew. Foul call on the Sphinx. 
Seven fouls apiece. Both teams in the penalty. That'll put Minsu Yulovic on the free throw strike. He can try to tie this thing up. First of two. It's good. Second of two. Ooh, it's a not good. Stays uh, at least a one-point lead for Piran for now. Piran was, well, Piran was so much experience. 24 appearances on the tour. Kavga off target. And Boris then called for the foul. He's trying to stop Gappy from getting position. And he's like, whoa, 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 what I do, what I do? Come on. Avnik been so good here in Saskatoon at this point. Put the team on his back through pool play. 17 points to lead all scores from day one. Comes in and continues to do what he does. Yulevitz puts the pressure on the Sphinx. Finn's guard called for the quick foul, and that'll stop the clock. It's turned into a hack fest. Ten fouls puts you in a double penalty. Both teams two fouls away from that. And Yulevitz, he's good on that one. This time, a successful trip to the free throw line. Two for two, Kron within one. No, no question. That we we've had three fouls in three seconds of game time. Back to back to back. No avoiding that one right there. It's Obnick. Oh, couldn't cash in. Couldn't cash in on the first of two. So the teacher, another opportunity. Seventh in the uh, overall two point shots made in 2018. He makes the one from the free throw. Yulevitz to Borish. Borish up fake. Got a little space past the Sphinx. And he left him like the Uber showed up. Bye bye. 11 10. Oh, look at Ognick going Tracy McGrady. His own version of it. Not quite as much lift, but just as effective. A little self pass puts Piran up 12 to 10. Oh, the teacher in his bag like a magic man. Voila. Yulevitz all by himself. He was lonely, decided to take two. He got two in a one point game. But lost out of bounds. Let it go over to Piran with 3.08 left. <laughs> Once again, I want to thank Tourism Saskatoon, not only for this edition, but really for the past three years. It has been great. It has been great here in Saskatoon. Thanks to Saskatoon Sports Tourism, the city, the mayor. F Fun Motor Group, all involved. What a venue. Beautiful sight to see in front of the, the uh, Best Borough. I believe uh, the locals here call it the Bezzy. The Bezzy. Stray Bolt, miss. Oh, but uh, the Sphinx is there to clean things up. Jerson. Yulevitz steps into the shot comfortably. Rolls off the rim. Shoulder fake. Tough shot. Out of bounds. Who's that's going to be off of? It's going to be black ball. Off green. So Kron Rock. Kavga with some... The, the best D he could play, but Igor's is too big, man. Too much length. 
14-13. Teacher, these goals ain't loyal. Yeah, but he's loyal to the ball, stays with it, and he's rewarded. Fifteen thirteen. Nice pass. Shot clock violation, though. You see the frustration. It's Trotnik. Like, man, you got to put that shot up, man. Got to be aware late in the shot clock. Kron, obviously, have, uh, have yet to pick up a Masters win. First time getting a look at them here in 2019. Fighting all the way to the end here against, uh, against Piran. They do have a win. They do have a couple of wins in terms of total World Tour history. Kron uh, won the Lasan Masters in 2013 and the Prague Masters in 2015. Yulevitz back rimmed it, gets it to Bordish. He misses it to the left. Buko to Gappy. And bite on the up fake. So now he's going to try to drive. Steps back, spins. He pulled out nearly everything he had in the bag on that play. Now he's, he says, you go to work. Simon, Trey Bolt. Oh. Swatted. Don't annoy me. Minsu left by himself. He's got reservations for two. And it's a 15-15 game. Shrey Bolt now. He was out of gas. Normally Shrey Bolt's going to stay persistent. And especially with a mismatch like that, having Boris checking him. But that's when that fatigue starts to play a little bit of a factor. Decided to try to kick it out. And obviously didn't work out in Piran's favor. So he's going to catch his breath. Nine fouls apiece, 15 points apiece with a buck 15 left in our last quarterfinal. Whoo-wee. Pick your side now. It's coming down to the wire, ladies and gents, boys and gals. Want to thank our official... Timekeeper Tiso, our founding partner Nike, our global sponsor, Wilson. They helped make this 3x3 thing possible. The Sphinx skies for the board. Hands it off to Obnik. Obnik says, oh, y'all going to leave me open? I ain't scared to shoot it. Doesn't find his mark. Yulevich. Oh, got to get rid of it. Kavaga was trying to tie him up. Borish. Down to Yulevitz, great position. Not a great finish, though. And then Minsu whistle for the foul with Kafka going down. And that is a bad foul. Why? Because it's foul number 10 on Kron. What does that mean? Well, it means Pinan's going to shoot two free throws. Not only that, they'll get possession as well. So here's Adin Kavgic. Uh, Kavga. It's a no go on that first attempt. You got to love a dude whose signature move is a rebound. <laughs> that's that's Adin Kavgic. Kavga, Gappy, the teacher, couldn't take him to school. But he gets the feed and the layup. Two-point advantage for Piran. Make that a one-point game as Mitsu makes it 16 to 17. 22 ticks left. Gappy over to Kavga. Kavga past the defense. Awkward shot attempt. Oh, Borish. He swings it over. Quick baseline move and a strong score. It's all even, 17 apiece. Buko with the rock, only five seconds. We're going to get a Tiso buzzer beat the tip. No, oh, no, we won't because a terrible foul. Uh, just a 
Just an awful foul on, on Boris Jensen with two seconds left. We could have been looking at an overtime game, but it, but Obnick could end this thing at the stripe. He makes the first of two. And this, this one's going to hurt. Oh, he hits them both. And possession, obviously, for, for Piran. 11 fouls on Kron. You just cannot foul with two seconds left in the game. With a chance to go to overtime. Your Tiso buzzer beater comes courtesy of the free throw line. <laughs> Instead of uh, overtime, as Gappy, the teacher, Gaspar Obnik, Leads Piran into the semis against San Francisco three ball with a 19-17 victory. <laughs>